So online businesses. Look, overnight, everybody has an online business because we were forced into this situation where we need to be able to get customers, drive traffic, build businesses online because our businesses have been forced to close a lot of places around the world. This is something nobody could have seen coming, but we're all forced into this position overnight. So you may be wondering, what are three you know, really good business models for online business? Well, today I'm going to go through pros and cons of three very popular online business models so that you can start to decide which one is best for you and which one which ones maybe you should avoid and you know the pros and cons of each one so that you can make an informed smart decision for your business so let's start it off the first one is online courses now over the past couple years online courses absolutely blew up everybody wants an online course these days so online courses are great first of all they offer you know a variety of mixed media um, in order to teach someone something or get someone a certain benefit or get them a certain outcome. For example, it could be audio, it could be video course, it could be, um, could be writing, some writing, some PDFs, and usually it's a mixture of all of these things put together. Whatever's going to get your people to learn what you're teaching them the best and fastest way, right? So that's what a course is. Now, what are the pros and cons of having a course for your online business. The first pro is that it's super easy to make an online course. Actually, anybody can do it. All you need is an iPhone and maybe some simple video editing, which you can do with iMovie on a Mac. Um, and it's super easy to just get up and running. You can take videos, um, edit the videos, put them in a, in a membership site area, and boom, you have a course, good to go, and then you can sell that thing. The second pro is the ability to launch a course with little or no money. You don't need any advertising dollars. You don't need to do these specific methods of growing your business. Instead, you can completely for free grow yourself an audience, launch a course to them, and it's completely free, and before you know it, you get a flood of cash coming into your business. What else on earth is there where you can start a business with no money? The third pro is the possibility of earning money without any physical inventory. I mean, having digital products is a godsend. It's insane. It's it's crazy, right? You, you don't have anything that you have to hold on to. You, you don't have anything that you need warehouse space for. You don't need distributors. You don't need shipping. You don't need any of those costs. Um, and instead, you can just literally sell it straight to the person and send it to them via email or, or give it to them on your website. And it's really, really easy, really low cost, really good way to start a business. And finally, you can't ignore the fact that courses have extremely low overhead, meaning much higher profit margins for you, meaning that you get to put more money in your pocket as the business owner by the end of the day. Now, there are a few cons when it comes to courses, and we're going to talk about those next. First of all, the low cost products, those low cost courses can sometimes lead to refunds and low quality customers that really are just trying to get the most out of everything. Um, which can cause them to you know, ask for refunds or ask for more than they get with the course. For example, they could say like, oh man, I really wish I had uh, some of your time so that you could tell me how to do this very specific thing. And they might start asking for more than what you sold them in your simple course package, right? So since the courses come with very low support, courses don't usually come with that. So people then might wonder like I, I didn't get the results can I have a refund or I didn't get the results can you help coach me right and they think that they deserve these things for free in reality it's not part of the program that you sold them and it causes a bit of a mix up a bit of a problem the second con for online courses is that sometimes they're just difficult to scale right so maybe your course costs 500 bucks or a thousand bucks in the beginning it will work really well with Facebook ads or with whatever kind of advertising you're doing but then if you want to scale, like if you want to start doing some real advertising and get it into as many hands as possible, you might see your ad costs start to climb up and your profit margins start to get smaller and smaller. And so it's just really hard to scale something that's low priced in the in that range of like, you know, a hundred bucks to a thousand bucks. Third con with online courses is that once you sell your course to one person, that's it, right? They're not gonna come back and buy the same course again. Or And if you want them to come back at all, you're going to have to come out with a new product, a new course, or a new thing that they can buy. Okay, So that's a little bit of a downside as well. And the low support level associated with courses makes them only really work for people that 
are ready to do DIY, right? So you don't want to sell a course to somebody that wants hand-holding or that wants you to do it for them because that's not what you get with a course, right? <laughs> with a course, you, get, you have to do it yourself. You have to study the material and actually go and make magic happen. You have to go and do what the material says, right? So you have to attract a certain type of customer that is willing to do that. Your client success ratio might be pretty low compared to where you want it to be because people tend to buy courses and never do anything with them. Personally, I've done amazingly well selling courses. I tend to like to use them in the front as a front end offer so that when, when I do my advertising, if um, it can liquidate or it can get rid of the cost of advertising because I do the advertising, I get the customers to come in, and a small percentage of them will buy a course, and then that pays for the advertising that I use to get them in the first place. So really, I'm looking to make zero dollars. I'm looking to spend as much as I make, and, that, and that's what the, course that, the courses that I create are usually used for, because when they, then when they come in, everything that I sell them after that is completely profit. So I've had great experience with courses, but there are some obvious pros and cons that I just went over. You got to think it through. You got to know what you want to do. All right. Online business model number two is coaching, consulting, mentoring. Now this is when you may have some course materials. You may have some materials that you give to them, but for the most part, you're looking to handhold and guide these people through the process of getting the results, the benefits, the outcome that you're selling. Okay, so this is more, co obviously, it's coaching, right? It's one-on-one -on -one or small group coaching that allows you to help people get to where they want to go, get from point A to point B. Usually, it comes with Q&A calls, one-on-one -on -one calls, or some other form of phone calls or Zoom calls that allow you to connect with these people one-on-one -on -one and help them reach the goals that they're trying to reach. So the pros of the coaching model include a higher perceived value that comes with the fact that you're going to hold their hand and help them through everything, right? And so when you do that, you're able to charge a lot more and you're able to get really what you're worth because you're spending your actual time with the people. You can charge anywhere from $5,000 to, I've seen packages for $50,000, even $100,000, right? It really depends on who your ideal customer is and what you're helping them do, what challenges you're helping them face, what solutions you're giving them to their problems. So that's one really, really big pro because the high ticket item that you have then, you know, that's $5,000 or $50,000, it can allow you to scale quickly. It, it brings a big flood of cash into your business every time you get one single customer. So it's like if you were to go fishing and you were going fishing, but you were just going fishing for little goldfish versus going fishing, but you might as well go fishing for the giant tuna, right? Or the giant swordfish right? Because you're already out there. You've already got the pole, the bait, all the things you need. You might as well go for the big piece of pie, right? You might as well go for the bigger fish. Well, just like that, you might as well go for the bigger clients, the ones that are willing to pay more money, the ones that are going to bring a flood of cash into your business so that you can grow and reinvest that into advertising, etc., etc. Another pro with the coaching model is that you can hire coaches. You don't You don't actually have to be the one that's doing the coaching. You can hire people to actually do that, meaning that you, you can replace yourself and then focus on whatever your zone of genius is in. So that I consider that a pro as well. Now let's look at some of the cons of the coaching model. Well, the first one is the actual taking the time to coach students and dealing with people one-on-one -on -one can be, you know, it can take a lot of time or money or energy in order to, to actually make that happen and, conti and continually stay with those people for the long term. It takes a lot of effort, takes a lot of focus, takes a lot of time, energy, money in order to do those things. That's why the higher perceived value and that's why you can charge more. Another con is once they buy, once a coaching client buys from you, what can you do to get them to buy again? Especially if your package is, you know, ten thousand dollars, they they spend ten thousand dollars to work with you. Are they going to be paying you again anytime soon? Probably not. They expect to get the exact outcome that you sell right then and there because you're going to take them by the hand and help them do it, right? So it's it's a little bit um, tougher. You know, you get more money up front, but how are you going to continue to ascend that customer? How are you going to build the relationship with that customer beyond 
when you already got them to buy your main package. Another con is the time that it takes to onboard people into your program, do the sales calls, field applications, all of that time that it takes, and it will take a team in order to make that actually happen, which, you know, can go either way. You can think of that as a pro or you can think of that as a con. The reason I say that is I usually think of, you know, the ability to build a team as a pro. It's part of the reason why I get started in business is part of the reason, part of the thing that I want to make sure that I do is build a team of employees. That way I'm helping, right? I'm bi- I'm bringing jobs um, into the world. And, and so I think that's really powerful. So all in all, I've seen the coaching model work really, really well. And I've seen businesses scale to the moon using just one simple package, one coaching package priced around $10,000. You can sell that thing over and over and over again for years and years and continue to scale because every time you get a sale, you can put it all back into advertising until it grows and grows and grows. And uh, it's, you know, it's built a few multi-million dollar companies that I know of, um, and it's really powerful model. And especially when you get into business consulting and things like that, the coaching model or consulting model is very powerful, very awesome, and it can go a long way. Online business model number three is eBooks, PDFs, etc. You know, the, the, the digital items that are handcrafted by you, yourself, or your teammates, that allows you to, you know, sell these items to people at low prices. And, you know, some people have businesses that are just based off of ebooks. And this is uh, possible these day, this day and age, but it is tough and we're going to get into it. So if you're a creative person who loves like writing or creating designs or doing, doing things in, uh, on your computer and you're like a designer or a writer, then maybe ebooks or or informational PDFs is a great way to go for you, all right? Especially if you're using it as a front-end, low price item, and then you have a, a more expensive one to sell later on. But we'll get into that. So the pros of eBooks and PDFs is the low cost to create one. I mean, if you have Microsoft Word, you can create a book. It's crazy how easy it's become in order to write a book and to actually call yourself an author and a best-selling author just by you know putting in the work and writing something great but really you can do it with no upfront cost at all. So the low cost to entry is very, very big pro for for eBooks. Now, also the low amount of involvement once the book is already uh, written, it can basically turn into a cash machine that brings you sales while you sleep, especially if you're able to get your eBooks listed on a giant retailer like Amazon, for example. So if you get your ebook listed on Amazon, you can get sales all day without doing much at all. Um, and it just will grow over time. Of course, you will want to do some marketing and some sales work on your end to make it grow. But pretty much you can get sales forever based off writing one book. Another pro is they can be used as a low cost way for people to become customers, right? What's the easiest way to get someone to do business with you that you've never met before? Is it to go up to them and sell them a $10,000 coaching package? No, of course not. The best way is hey, well, how about you buy this book that I wrote? It's $7, it's $27, it's $17, right? People are like, okay, yeah, I can do that, right? It's just a low barrier to entry, a nice low cost item, and you're able to show them how your mind works, the processes that you use, the systems that you use in order to get the results that they want. You're able to show them all of that inside of your book and then hopefully by the time they're done with it they'll say man i really got to do business with this person i really like the way that they help me lose weight or i really like the way that they help me build my business or i really like the way that they help me lift that extra 10 pounds whatever it is that you do of course so another pro is that these ebooks you know books can give you authority and positioning in the marketplace it's a lot different saying do you want to work with me i'm a coach and mentor than it is saying hey i'm a best-selling author do you want to work with me i'll do some coaching for you it just gives you better positioning in the market it increases your brand and it increases your influence over time so that's a huge pro now let's get into the cons the cons of ebooks would be the difficulty to scale right because it's such a low cost product it's really hard to put advertising money into getting people to buy something that's only 20 bucks or or even 30 bucks or even 40 bucks, right? It's really hard to scale something that's so low price unless you have a funnel that sells them higher price things directly after they buy, then it can be become easier in order to scale. But if you're doing just books, it will be hard to scale over time. 
Another difficult thing, a con, would be the, just the, the amount of energy and, and brain power it takes to come up with a book idea, research the book idea, and write a very good book. You would need a lot of ideas, plus you need a lot of time and hours put into writing the actual book. Not to mention, if you decide to only do books, you're going to need multiple books in order to move the needle, right? So you're going to have to ha do the same idea over and over and over again. Some people say writing a book takes a year two years, three years, right? These books, they, they don't just pop out of nowhere. They take a lot of time, energy, research. Although it's free to do it, it is not free in terms of time and energy. So that's a huge con. And finally, the worst con of eBooks is that they're a very competitive and saturated market filled to the brim. There's new books coming out every single day. There's new books all the time on Amazon, so you'd have to find a way to stand out. You have to find a way to create an amazing book cover and title because we do judge books by their cover, make no mistake about it. And you'd actually have to dominate your competition at writing a better book than them. So altogether, ebooks can be a great addition to a business. I wouldn't start a business hoping to just write ebooks, but hey, you do you. All right, so those are the three business models I was gonna go over today, but here's a bonus before you go, okay? Big bonus, I didn't name my favorite business model, okay? This business model is worth over $68 billion, okay? It's responsible for $68 billion in sales. The trends right now, the data and the trends are showing that this is how the new age millionaires, the millionaires that are made in 2020, this is the business model that's going to take them there. And mark my words, this is the business model that people want to get into right now. From the big companies all the way down to the little guys, everybody's trying to get their foot into this business because when the market flipped upside down, when everything got shut down, these businesses grew. They started making more money and they started, you know, they actually helped bigger businesses stay alive and they helped smaller businesses get started or, or stay alive. So look, the new age millionaires that are being born during the COVID-19 era are coming from this specific business model. And here's the thing, I created an entire free training about this business model and I want you to attend completely for free. All you have to do is click the link below this video in the description and it'll take you over to see this free training where we're going to show you exactly how to get started, position your business to win. If you already have a business, by the way, you can bolt this onto your existing business and it works perfectly for authors, coaches, consultants, you know, course creators, content creators, influencers, anybody that wants to do anything online with online business. This business model, this business strategy is the way to go. And you're going to want to see this training before it goes out of date, before <laughs> There's a ton of millionaires in this specific sector and the competition is so crazy that you can't compete. You're going to want to get your foothold in this thing, okay? So make sure you watch this free training. Again, all you have to do is click the link directly below this video. It'll take you right over there. You can sign up and watch the free training right now. And it's not like a super long two-hour thing. It's only like 20 minutes, so you should watch it today. So whether you want to make your business more predictable, more steady, and, and be able to thrive during times when online business matters, or you're starting a brand new business and you want to start a brand and grow a business that's going to help people for the long term, either way, you're going to want to check out this free training because we're going to go into exactly how to set this up, how to position yourself and all of the data and trends that are pointing in the direction of this specific strategy. So go ahead, click the link in the description below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can see the next video. Thank you so much. My name is Ryan Kearns and I'll see you soon. Bye.